All right, people, Catfish Dave here. It's 12.30 in the afternoon, pretty much the second half of the hour of suck. Well, I got me one of these fish apps. I got a couple of them. It's supposed to show you when the best bites are and all that kind of stuff. It's supposed to go off the moon and all this other kind of whatever stuff, you know. You know, is there anything to it or not? I don't know. I was talking to this guy at the ramp, and uh, he says that works for hunting. You know, that's when their most active time to move or whatever is, blah, 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 you know. So uh, it supposedly works on the fish too. That's what they say, or that's what they're trying to sell you. Farmer's Almanac put that in their uh, catalogs for a year, best fish time. It's been going on. This, this, this moon bite thing, best fishing times, uh, it's been going on for many, many years, long before I was born. Now, I always fished when I could, and that's when I went. Here we are, it's afternoon hour, and I'm somewhere I've never been. I'm, I'm so far up the Emory River, I'm practically in Kentucky. I ain't never fished here in my life, and uh, I pulled up onto this hole coming out of a creek right here, and I'm expecting there to be some flatheads up here. I'd say if anything's up here, it's a bunch of gar and flatheads with a few scattered blue cats. Anyway, according to this fish app today, uh, it's a pretty good chance of quality fishing. They're rating it a 75%, which is pretty good. That's way better than 40 or 30. And it's showing these peak times. And one of these peak times it's showing is between 12 and 6. And the peak is going to be at 3 p.m. That's when the peak time is. So I've got three cut baits in the water. And we're gonna see what happens through the period of this next few hours. We're gonna see if there's anything to this fish bite, fish app, lunar, whatever type deal stuff, you know what I mean? That's what we're doing today. It was mainly a ride up here, doing a little bit of exploring. And I had downloaded this fish app last night and I said, you know what? It says three o'clock supposed to be a good bite. So let's just see what happens. Like I say, it's 12.30 now, and as the day progresses to that 3 p.m. hour, the bite is supposed to get better and better, or the fish movement or activity or whatever they're trying to say is happening here. We're going to see what happens. I've got three baits in the water. I know flatheads in Tennessee eat cut bait, so we're going to sit around and wait, see if there's anything to it. Taking one look at the place, I would say 90% of my bites here are going to be gar, but I know the catfish are here. It connects to the Tennessee River. There's probably some really big flatheads up in here, just because it doesn't get the fishing pressure. You see any boats out here? I don't see nothing. So all common sense tells me, halfway up here to Kentucky, that there's some flatheads in this river. And we're going to see if this little fish bite thing puts us on one. So that's what we're going to do. See if something's going to chew. Let's give this thing a shot. Right now, we're not catching Jack Doodley squat. Are we going to catch flathead in this spot by 3 p.m.? Only time will tell. I picked what I think is a good spot. And we're going to sit right here and give it a shot. Not the best time of day, but according to what the fish apps say, it will actually be a decent time. I'm gonna give it some time and find out if the thing's lying. Of course, I won't complain if this technology really exists because I wouldn't mind sitting here and catching a few fish. After all, I do have a fishing channel on YouTube. Come on, catfish. Speaking of lunar, I've actually got a solar charging thing here. You know, it's like a Holds up to 20,000 milliamp hours, blah, blah, blah. You can charge it normally with the cord, or supposedly the th sun will keep this thing charging, keep it full of juice. So I'm going to plug it into my phone, which is using quite a bit of juice, while I'm standing out here waiting on a catfish. This thing here does work. I've already tried it. As far as the odds, typically transition months 
are some of the worst times to catfish. March can be a transition month, you know, for when it's getting from the cold to the warm, and again, like September, when it goes from the warm to the cold. They can be tough times. Uh, they're also known as times to catch really big fish, but it seems like the bite does decrease as far as numbers during the transition months. So my experience, so other people say. And another thing bad that's going on today is I've never caught a catfish in this shirt right here. I've got plenty that look like it, but this one here has never caught a fish. So it's got a case of the bad juju. Sitting out here in the heat of the afternoon, that could be bad juju. Sitting on a spot I've never been to, here again, more bad juju. So with all the bad juju going on, that fish app better know what it's talking about. I hope it does. I'd like to get my first catfish in this shirt. To fully put this app to its test, I believe this line here is done, done hung up on something. To fully put this app to the test, and here again, the bad juju is going on. But just to see if this app is anything at all, I added some extra bad juju, and I actually put a banana on the boat just for this trip. If you can catch a fish with a banana in the boat, the bite must be really good. There's something going on with that, with that right rod there. I believe we have a fish. We have a flathead. Yes, we do. Yes sirree, new spot, heat of the day, new shirt, banana in the boat, uh, we got a flathead man. I told you there was flatheads up here. Alright y'all, hey, first fish of the day. Fish app said it was going to be a good day, and between 12 and 3, the bite's supposed to be on the rise. Uh, we've been out here 30 minutes, and at 1 o'clock, we got our first flathead in the boat. I'm just spot locked in one spot where I think fish would hold. The point of this app is it's supposed to mean when fish are most active. Sure, I could drift around this river until I bump one right in the nose. I want them to come to me. I want to see if there's really anything to this stuff. If they become active, like this says it will, and I'm close to them, there should be some more of them find my bait. 
All right, y'all, I got something happening on the green rod here. He come off, man. He come off. Time is 1.38. Was that a big gar? Or maybe a smaller flathead? That's an 11 aught hook, pretty heavy wire. And if he's catching that in the top of that tooth patch, uh, it's gonna be pretty hard to set that. So, you know, was it a flathead? I don't know. It was pulling down like a flathead would. I think we just had a little bit of a heavy wire hook for the size fish. I don't think it was a big fish. Probably no more than what I hooked the first time, only with a lot thicker hook. Either way, it's a 138. What do y'all think? Small flathead or a gar? Either way, it was more activity for the day. In this shirt, at this time of day, even with a banana in the boat. If we end up with a couple of flatheads by the three o'clock hour, hey, I'll think there's something to it. All right, y'all. We're 20 minutes away from that three o'clock peak. I'm really expecting another flathead by three o'clock. I've got some turtle or something chewing on this piece of cut white bass. The skipjack on these two rods, it ain't getting touched. I realize we've got a lot of bad juju, transition time of year, the time of day. It's hot out here right now. This shirt, a spot I've never been, a banana in the boat. There's a lot of odds stacked up against us, but according to that fish bite out, we should be seeing something. I'm going to give it to about 3.30, which is about another hour. Between now and then will be the peak. According to that thing, I'm expecting a flathead by 3 o'clock. Look at there. There's some kind of activity. There's some kind of activity. Well, it is a catfish during that peak hour, or close to it. Another fish. Way up here. Practically in Kentucky. Out here in the heat of the afternoon. I'll tell you what. We're going to freshen up the bait. We're going to change baits. I'm going to put on. A live white bass to finish up this last hour. I'm gonna freshen up these two baits. We're gonna give this app every chance it can get. We better see some action or I ain't gonna be convinced. Well, it's three o'clock. According to that fish app, the fish should be lined up at each one of my baits right now, trying to get on that bait because that's what that fish app says. But I ain't seeing nothing. It's three o'clock. Well, it's three o'clock. Where are they at? When it hit three o'clock, I expected all three of those rods to go down at the same time. At three o'clock, there should have been a fish stuck on each one of those hooks, and a bigger fish came along and ate that fish 
which would have gave me two fish on each rod. They should be tapping at the side of the boat, saying, hey, Catfish Dave, get the net and get me in the boat, man. It's 3 o'clock, but I don't see anything. They should be swimming through the locks all the way down to Wheeler Reservoir, trying to get up here, almost into Kentucky, trying to get at my baits because it's 3 o'clock. And that fish app says that is the peak time to have your baits in the water. I've caught two fish. Maybe this place really sucks. And maybe two fish is a phenomenal day out here. Maybe that's just unheard of fishing in this location, okay? I mean, let's face it. This has been here since the beginning of time. And if it was a good spot, there would already be 1,500 catfish boats here. They would know about it. I mean, I found it. So maybe that fish app is spot on, man. Maybe two catfish is a phenomenal day out here. Maybe it works. Maybe if I'd been on Watts Bar, I'd caught 200 fish at the same time. Who's to say? Either way, I'm gonna give it to about 3.30 and I'm going back to the ramp and eating me a bologna sandwich. We got fresh skipjack, fresh white bass head, a live white bass. Everything about my baits just screams flathead bait catfish bait in general. These rods should be doubled over right now. Maybe these fish can't tell time. Maybe they don't have internet and can't look at these fish bite apps and know that they're supposed to be biting right now. Maybe this far up going towards Kentucky, they don't have that type of technology. Either way, people, I've got mixed emotions about the whole thing. But here again, there's a lot of variables going on today. Never been here before transition time of year, hot part of the day, shirt that's never caught fish with bad juju, a banana in the boat. This could be a bad place to fish. We could have had a phenomenal day and that best times to fish app could be spot on. Either way, that's all the time I'm gonna do here today. I'm headed back to the ramp to get me a blowny sandwich. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.